What is up, gang? It's your guy Jeezy. For those who don't know, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. For those of you who've been sticking around with me, if it's your first time seeing me, bro, visiting the channel. You appreciate you, man. If you haven't yet, subscribe, like, comment. Hopefully, you do. If you don't, you don't. If you do, bro, I appreciate you. Hopefully, you enjoy the video. Watch these videos. I don't pre watch them and pretend like I don't see them. I never seen this video. I came across it, thought it'd be dope. So that's why I'm uploading it and reacting to it. You feel me? But welcome to the channel. Hopefully, every last one of y'all, man, having a good week so far, man. Staying safe, staying hydrated, staying out the way, staying fed for sure, all right? Be careful who you trust, man. Be careful who you pour your heart out to, man. It's just, man, a lot of snakes out there. So hopefully y'all been safe and sound, chilling, never seen this video again. Subscribe, like, comment. I'm open to any, you know, any of your comments, anything you guys recommend for the channel, I'm open to, you know, look over to. Or even, you know, suggestions of what to react to. So I appreciate y'all again. Nevertheless, man, let's go ahead and get into it. Give y'all what y'all came here to see, you feel me? Just registration in your short time? Yeah. Okay. Good idea. Biggest bus. Hold on. No. You're driving let me, let me, in a vehicle. Back up. We're gonna stop this car here for failing. This. Cause then you know how like when you first click on the video, if it doesn't have an ad, it'll just start playing. So I never seen the video, like I said, bro. So don't, don't think that. It's just maybe like I didn't notice like it was playing in the background. Stop. stop Let's go ahead. There. Palm Beach. Yeah, go ahead. You got your license registration your short time. I might get some new earbuds and shit. How you doing? Okay. Good idea on you? No. No. Yes, You're driving in a vehicle without a seatbelt on in the front seat. That's a good Florida state statute. I wasn't aware. You weren't aware? I How just old are you? I got in the car. Okay. You ever been arrested before for anything? Never, man. Never before? Mm -hmm. And this is your vehicle? Yeah. Okay. There's nothing illegal in it or nothing like that? Yeah. We're having a lot of problems with drugs in the area. Yeah. There's nothing illegal in your car? Mm -hmm. So after I do a check, you won't mind if I checked your vehicle or anything like that? Uh, I gotta be getting some of my mind got time for this. Okay, just hang out for a minute. Right. Let me just make sure everything pans out. He just wants us in the car. Did he just throw the keys out the window or something? Here. Didn't you say he was arrested? Yeah. For uh, what? Three months ago for drugs. He said he'd never been arrested before. Yeah, I got it right here. He was arrested in 72107 drugs. Okay. Well, I smell an odor of marijuana coming from the car, so we're going to pull him out. The front seat passenger seems very nervous. Yeah, they both are. He's not happy he got pulled over on a dead end street either. So. He would stutter a lot to tell me his name. I mean, I know my name and I can say it without stuttering. All right. You have anything on you? No weapons or anything like that? Nothing, man. Okay. But, bro, I, swear, I mean, you know, Florida laws are different compared to like up here. I reside in Maryland, just for those who don't know. But now, I forgot when they changed it specifically. I can't give you guys an exact date. But from now on, when the police pull you over and they smell weed, you feel me? They cannot use that as an excuse to search your car. That does not give them the right to search your vehicle just only because they smell weed, bro. Now, now in the state of Maryland, like I said, I don't know when they changed that or when that was the law or when Congress implemented that. But now here in the state of Maryland, and in some states too, it's not just Maryland, it's some other states too. Police cannot use the odor of marijuana to give them the right to um, search the vehicle. So that that's how it is over here. I don't know about Florida. You were arrested before. I was never arrested. Check the record. That you were arrested about three months ago. No. Right okay. to Drugs. No. Mm. Is that a mistake? They pulled me over. Yeah, uh, bro, real nervous, something. bro. That was. He he ain't making too too much eye contact neither, bro. Like you know, the police ain't stupid. Some of them are smarter than others, bro. But police ain't stupid, and I can tell, bro, when a motherfucker lying, bro. I've been around so many people. I'm young as shit, as y'all can see. You feel me? I ain't that old, but. From where I came from, bro, from where I grew up and shit, bro, I've seen a lot of people, bro. I've been, you know, hanging around with a lot of people. So I got, I, I, I can, I have a lot of experience with noticing emotions and the changes and looks of body language. You get what I'm saying? I can tell just by how somebody's feeling without them even telling me. And I can tell, bro, was, first of all, real fucking nervous, bro, and he lying about some shit. You know, just by how he is just always looking in the ground. Looking at the ground, not making any eye contact. Talking real soft, you feel me? Chest down, you know, back hunched over, you feel me? Like, that's those are ways Whatever. you can tell. Whatever, let me go for the night. I went to my class, and I got my, I went to court. They gave me my class and scheduled my classes the 20th. So you got arrested because they gave you a notice to appear in court. Well, I that means know that you got arrested. arrested. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, it's a notice to appear. Can you just lean up over there sure. next to your friend? We smell an odor of marijuana coming from inside the car. So I guess it's probably causing a surge, and he has a past of uh, drug arrest, so. Wait, what? What did he say? The car. So I guess it's probably causing a surge, and he has a past oh, of okay. uh, 
drug arrest, so we're just gonna do a quick search. Looking for an easy way to run Windows on Mac? Say hello to Parallels Desktop. Easily switch between Mac. Search, nothing comes up, he'll be on his way, but you know, when I asked him for consent, even though I didn't need it, he was really nervous about letting us in the car. Who's this? So secure the passenger for a minute. There we go. There's a marijuana right here, another pipe that matches the same pipe that was on the ground. So underneath the seat, inside this little orange packet right here, it's definitely gonna be felony weight. So that stuff that we found isn't yours on the ground, and you won't allow us to do DNA or anything? So we can Not prove without that me nice. contacting my dad, no. How old are you? 28. You know, once you turn 18, your parents aren't in charge of you anymore, and you're 28 years old. I know he's not in charge of me, but he's <laughs> my counselor, and he advises me. Hold on, who's old girl, bro? I thought there was only two people in the car, and not three. And stuff, so I'd have Maybe to contact, contact him first. How many times have you been arrested for uh, drug possession? Three. Three, when was three, the last bro. one? Bro, this fucking guy. <laughs> Kids don't do drugs, even though I'm barely an adult, but, you know. I put it to you this way, bro. Sell drugs if your life is on the line, you feel me? If that's the only way you can be able to put food on the table, pay the rent, keep a roof over your head, my nigga, keep blankets over you, you feel me? Like, it's just, if it's just the only way to make a living and to take care of your family, your kids, whatever, yourself, bro, by any means, do it. And do it the smart way, bro. If you carrying this shit, bro, make sure the car don't smell like weed. At least if it does, bro, try to, like, get rid of the odor as soon as possible. Like, spray some fucking for breeze. Keep that shit in the car. Get some of them trees and shit that you find at the gas station. People be hanging up on their um, rear mirror. You know, I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? Just, like, have a way so that you can get rid of the smell. You know, you know what I mean? Just kind of like when motherfuckers drink and shit like that before they drive or while they're driving their drink. They would have mints in the car, so just in case, if they get pulled over, or when they're about to, like, pull over because there's a fucking police officer telling them to pull over, right? When they see fucking blue, white, and red lights behind them, they'll have mints in the car, they'll pop, and just when they'll be able to get rid of the the alcohol under their breath, you know what I mean? So, back to what I was just saying about the weed, bro. Make sure you have a way of trying to get rid of that over odor, because, obviously, you know, by, look, police don't always obey the law now, either. You can't trust none of them sons of bitches. That's one other thing I wanted to tell y'all, man. Don't trust these fucking police officers. Because they're only really out here just to do the job. And that is to take your ass to jail. <clears throat> um, I've been arrested before. I haven't... Well, of course, when I got arrested, they put me in jail. But I was, I was only there for like two hours, my nigga. So I wouldn't consider that as being in jail. That's just being process you get what i'm saying but i haven't been like i haven't went to court got convicted and then sent to jail you feel me i i haven't gone through that hope not you know what i mean but shit happens you feel me but i hope not i stay i stay on my way out of trouble but anyways bro always bro have a plan b always have a plan b plan c every fucking letter of the alphabet all three months months ago months and months ago yeah Okay, remember, did my partner tell you that I smell marijuana coming from the car? Hey, you're telling me there's no drugs in the car right now? Not that I know of, no. Not that you know of? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you what I found in the car underneath your seat. Oh, my God. Which is funny, because that pipe right there, that, that this little uh, marijuana pipe, is mm -hmm. the same exact marijuana pipe that was outside on the floor. They're, like, matching. That's not mine. It's under your seat. It's every, it belongs it's to everybody in the mine. car. It belongs it's to everybody in the car is what I'm telling you. Okay. Like, I'm not going to argue with you. No, no, I'm not trying to argue with you. There. You know, I'm not looking for an admission here. I'm just trying to say. Trouble. I'll take the blame for it all. Dude look like a crackhead. I ain't going to lie. He real mellow. He's real slow with his words. You get what I'm saying? Kind of slow. Two seconds ago, you just told me you didn't know anything about it. Uh, well, I'm, I'm taking the blame now. But it's not taking the blame. If you don't know about it, you don't know about it. You both go to jail and you figure it out in front of a judge. You're saying you never See, saw man. that. Back. God, you... You always have a plan B. You got weed in the car, bro. Make sure you've already came up with an idea of how to get away with it if you get put over. You get what I'm saying? Or finding a way of 
trying to not get the police to search your vehicle. You know what I'm saying, bro? Plan B. Always have plan B, bro. Don't just fucking... Like this guy, this idiot right here, he shows... The police officer shows him what he found in the passenger seat from which where he was sitting. And then he denies it's his. Then, now when he brings him and stands him right next to his partner and tells both of them, the police officer, when, when he tells both of them that it's everybody's shit, then that's when he'll go ahead and take the blame saying that it's his. But then, bro, you just said that you had no knowledge of it at all. Come on, Before, dog. You don't know that he was there. You haven't smoked in four or three months. You know. Nah, bro. This fuck... Bro, look at... Look at this fucking guy. Listen to the way he talks. Of course, bro, didn't smoke something. Nah, cigarettes, bro. He didn't smoke something. Maybe weed or whatever, though. I mean, I can't tell, really. I mean, not unless they've been using this shit for like a long ass time. They've been shooting out, smoking crack, sniffing, sniffing it. Um, I, I can't really tell that, really, though. But, bro, just the way he talks and the way he acts and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, he's not really reactive. You get what I'm saying? Like, he's just real slow, is what I'm trying to say. I can tell, bro. I smoke something. That doesn't. That's not admission. Bro, look at this dude. That's bro. you just saying. I'm His face is like rowdy. If you know it, you know it. It's mine. I'll say it's mine. Okay. Where'd you buy it from? I got it free. You got it for free? My brother gave it to me. Your brother sells? Come on, bro. Why would you put your family under the buff? Come on, bro. So why is it rolled up like that? I don't know. So who dropped the black sock outside it the door? Too. That's right. You dropped that too. You know, as we were pulling you over, you drew it out the door or something? No, it fell out when I walked out. All right, we know that Rhiannon's going for a felony possession of marijuana mm. and two counts of paraphernalia. Your buddy admitted it was his. You got to start picking better company, especially if you're trying to do the right thing. All right, just try to do better. All right, man. All right, man. <clears throat> Sure's down, down, down. You let him go. So there, there you go, bro. That's, see, just, just what the police officer said, bro. You got to be careful. Not unless, bro, your life is on the line. That is only when I suggest you do that shit. But obviously, man, I ain't going to be writing to the whole thing, not the whole 13 minutes. All right, appreciate every last one of you guys. If you made it to this point of the video, man, I appreciate you. Hope, prosperity, love, and care towards you and your family, bro. I hope you make it up, dog. I appreciate you again, bro. I ain't never going to upload no video without me saying thank y'all to every last one of y'all. I know all I can say is thank you, man, but, bro, I mean that shit, bro. Y'all mean the world to me, y'all. Y'all make me keep on running this shit up, bro. I right, appreciate y'all.